Okay, let's go ahead and prepare to solve this problem. And I think what we'll do is we're going to draw a picture, okay? So we have this delivery truck, okay? So here's a picture of my truck, and I'll apologize for my artistic merit here. Here's my delivery truck, and it's traveling to the west, okay? So I'm doing a side view of the truck, and it's driving to the west, so it's going in this direction. B is to the west, and the magnetic field points due north. Now here's the thing, if you're standing and looking at a truck from the side and west is to the left, north is basically into the paper. So the magnetic field is directed straight into the paper. Okay, now think about the force on charges. Velocity is this way, magnetic field's into the paper, and so the force is directed towards the bottom of the paper on a positively charged particle. So what's going to happen is the positive charged particles are going to end up on the bottom of the truck. Negative charges will feel a force in the opposite direction, and so they're going to pile up on the top of the truck. Okay, and so the top of the panels is going to be negative compared to the bottom, and there will be a potential difference between the top. This is a motional EMF, and we know that the magnitude of a motional EMF is equal to V times L times B. And that sets us up for our solution. And the solution is pretty straightforward. The magnitude of the motional EMF okay, is V times L times B. Now V is the speed at which the conductor is moving. And, and it's an aluminum truck, so it's a conductor, and it's moving at a speed of 75 kilometers per hour. Okay, we need to take that, we need to convert that into meters per second, okay? Keep an extra significant figure to eliminate rounding errors. That speed corresponds to 20.8 meters per second. L is the length of the conductor. Well, that's this length right here here. That's L. And we're told that the truck has sides that are 2.8 meters high, so this length is just 2.8 meters. B is the magnitude of the magnetic field. That's 5.0 times 10 to the minus fifth Teslas. That's just the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. Net result, if we calculate this out, is we get a motional EMF to two significant figures. That's 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3 volts, or 2.9 millivolts. Let's assess that result, okay? You know on a practical basis that, that people aren't told, oh, watch out, there's a truck driving in a magnetic field. Beware of the voltage difference between the top and the bottom of the truck. That doesn't happen. We expect these potential differences to be very modest. We saw for a much bigger conductor moving at a higher speed, an airplane driving, uh, flying through the Earth's magnetic field, that you ended up with a reasonable voltage. But I expect this to be much, much smaller. In fact, it is. It's not of real practical consequence, which is exactly what we expect. And so the answer, in fact, matches the way we know the world works.